Hi guys, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pom-pom. This video is not just for crocheters or knitters or beginners of crochet or knitting. It is for everyone who wants to make pom-pom for anything. Okay, first I'm going to show you how to make fairy pom-pom. And I will use this fairy strip. You can buy it on Amazon, for example, or you can also use big piece of fur. I will use this more narrow strip of fur because I want to get two smaller pom-poms for my son's hat. Width of this strip is six centimeters. And what next you will need for this project? It's a pair of scissors, uh, sewing needles, sewing thread or cotton yarn and little hollow fiber. Okay, you need to get square of fur. So it doesn't matter if you will make small pom-pom or big pom-pom. So uh, use a pair of scissors and make the square. You can measure it if you want. Okay, it will make little mess. So take take the fluff off from the edge. And now you need a sewing thread or uh, some yarn, thinner yarn, and you need needle. I'm going to use the yarn and I'm going to use, use a yarn needle. And now make just a few stitches around. Insert your needle from the inside to the outside and make a stitch back from the outside into the inside. And repeat it again. And make a few stitches around like this. So just follow me and continue working. Okay, and now we need a little hollow fiber. So fill it in by hollow fiber. Just little. And pull the tail like this. You can pull both tails and tighten it. Try to make uh, your own pom-pom because it's a lot of cheaper than you will buy 
Pom, pom. Now make a few more stitches around till the hole is closed. And I didn't tell you, you should uh, make a few more stitches around in the same way like, like before. Okay, and that's all. Then you can just make a shorter both tails and make a slip knot. Then you can use uh, these both ends of yarn to sew to the hat, for example. And you can comb the hairs and make it nicer. So that's really all. I think it's really easy. Everybody can do it. And it's a lot of cheaper than you will go to buy a furry pom pom in the shop. Let me know below the video if it's useful at all for you, or if you like it, or if you will have any questions. And now I'm going to show you how to make yarn pom pom. You will need paper box pencil, pair of scissors and some yarn. I will use yarn uh, from Drops brand, my favorite, and uh, it's called Nepal. Okay, take the paper box and I'm going to use a glass because we need to uh, get a circle so make a circle by the glass and pencil and do it again on the second paper box Now you have to cut out the circle. Okay, now you have two circles, but we need to make a smaller circle in the middle of the bigger one. So draw the circle again, find the middle, or you can use a measure tape 
and measure it where is the exact middle and do it again on the second circle and now you have to cut out the smaller circle as well You can see it's not circle, there is a uh, space because there must be space to uh, put the yarn in. So put both, uh, both circle together and make it straight at the ends. And now just take a yarn Okay, now I'm going to start the wrapping So wrap it um, all the way around Um, I just want to turn it because it's better. I'm right hand. Okay, I think it's enough. It's quite thick and when you will uh, put there more yarn, it will be nicer. It will be the pom pom will be more bulky then. And now we are going to cut and we need to cut uh, the middle. Uh, so, cut it between these two pieces of cardboard and you will need uh, smaller, maybe smaller scissors and sharp scissors.
Okay, now take the new end of yarn, put it into the middle, put it um, between these two pieces of cardboard, yarn over, and now tighten it and make a slip knot. And I'm going to do it again, just in case. So yarn over. And yarn over again. And then make a slip knot. And you have to tighten it enough. Now you can remove uh, both uh, pieces of cardboard and now we need to make a shape of ball. So cut it and make the shape of ball of pom pom. And here is beautiful pom-pom, what you can make by yourself. So if you like it, put the thumb up and don't forget to subscribe my channel uh, because you will never miss any of my videos. You can use anything else like fork, for example, if you will need smaller size of pom-pom or you can use also your hand or fingers to make the yarn pom-pom. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.